Next up at UFC 267, we have Magomed Ankalaev versus Vulcan Ozdemir. Ankalaev 5 and 0 in his last 5, 15 and 2 overall in his career. Ozdemir 17 and 5 in his career, 2 and 3 in his last 5 coming off of a KO loss to Jiri Prohachka. Ankalaev is a long kickboxer. He uses range well. He has devastating kicks, and he will throw those kicks right up the middle, almost like Anderson Silva when he knocked out Vitor Belfort. He has power in his hands, his power in his feet. Uh, he's very versatile. <clears throat> I'm very sick. Uh, if he does get in trouble striking, he has a wrestling backup game plan. Uh, he averages more than one takedown per fight, and both of these guys have great takedown defense. Engelayev at 85%, Vulcan at 80%. So I'm not too sure if this will end up on the ground. Vulcan, also a striker, more of a boxer than a kickboxer. He does have kicks, but they aren't very natural, and he keeps them very low, low uh, to your legs. <clears throat> he has forward pressure style with legit power and volume. He throws his hands hard and he throws them often. If you watch his fight against Jiri Prohachka, it was basically a battle of the chins. They just went at it. Um, mirror images of each other, heavy power, no head movement, no regard for their own chins. Unfortunately for Vulcan, Jiri's chin held up better. And the odds were they are uh, in this fight because of Vulcan's chin. Uh, his forward at all cost style is going to be a problem here with Ankalov's power and movement. And I'll pause there. We'll welcome in this absolute bum who hasn't joined this show in six months and is probably on mute. S Am I on oh, mute? You're you're All good. right. That would have been perfectly fitting. What's going on, everybody? Six months, that's an exaggeration. I've uh, taken Dan, your money the last... Dan, real quick, why don't you just start with an apology if you're going to do anything? Okay. Honestly. I apologize to everybody except for Angelo. He, he's coming that. out a little aggressive. I wasn't planning to start like that, but uh, I do apologize. I've been busy. I don't know. Whatever Angela says is not the truth, but uh, busy working, traveling, doing a bunch of things. But I'm going to get back in here uh, full time as soon as I can. Jacob, what are your thoughts on this fight now that you have become the expert? Oh, shit. Oh, uh oh, uh, well, that's not going to be good for. He's all choked up. <laughs> that's not going to be. No, that's I not going to be good. For five minutes and Jacob's getting choked up. No, it's it's funny because this is the fight that like you shouldn't pick the underdog, and I'm about to pick the underdog, and I honestly think this is more of a pick 'em fight. If you look at Volkan's Vol Volkan's resume, this is who he's lost to: Daniel Cormier, Anthony Smith, Dominic Reyes was a split decision. And then against Jiri, he had Jiri hurt. Nobody has Jiri hurt. He hits hard enough to where in the first round, Jiri was literally like running around the octagon, running away from him because he was that hurt. So I think this is going to be power for power. And honestly, I think this is a pick em fight. I mentioned the fight earlier in the card where I didn't really know either side, but I felt like it was a pick em fight. So if I think it's a pick em fight and I get the plus 260 odds, I'll take a shot at Volkan that his his chin holds up and uh, he has the power to, to put down Ankalov. Listen, I know Ankalov is good because I picked against him twice against Kutalaba for whatever reason. So he's burned me twice already. So everyone should probably pick Ankalov because I'm picking against him again. Yeah, I mean, that's – yeah. At least you advise people to do the correct pick. I just <laughs> – I just, you know, it is striker versus striker, but Vulcan's chin just isn't there. And without the chin, how are you going to hang with a guy like Ankalov? So that is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to spend the 9,100 bucks though, even though he's probably live for a knockout to me, this is more of a knockout Kings fight. I think you throw Magomed and knockout Kings and monkey knife fight, get yourself a, a nice little payout there. You only need one of three guys. If you like him enough to do a knockout prop bet, we want picks.com slash bets, jump into one of the three promos, make a deposit. Let me know. And I'll send you 50 dollars danny boy i know you've done no research whatsoever you've been way too busy you have a thought here uh i do actually i'm gonna apologize in advance though because i do i literally still am on hold of american airlines so you're gonna hear the light elevator music in the background and if they do answer i'm gonna mute myself and angela you can take over and make up whatever you want to make up 
Um, no, I, Jake, I actually agree with you here. I think uh, I think there is some value on Vulcan. Um, listen, Ankalov's the favorite for a reason, but I think there's some value on him. I think they're they're both good strikers. They both have fought tough competition. Um, and I would say Vulcan's been in there with the tougher of the fighters, right? Um, Ankalov went to a decision with Nikita Krylov. Um, so, you know, overall striking wise, I, I think this is a matchup where both guys can look good. I do agree with you. The chin could be a problem with, uh, with Vulcan, but in terms of skill set, I think this could be, this should be a much closer fight than the odds say, than the DraftKings odds say. Um, it's just the chin of Vulcan that, that worries me a little bit. If he had an iron chin, I'd be, I'd be all over him at 7,100 or plus 260, but, um, Ankalov can hit, can hit hard. Um, so I like the value in Vulcan. I don't know if I'm going to bet it, but I'm definitely going to, uh, I don't know if Angelo told you guys, but now, you know, I, I won, uh, what was it? 8,500 bucks, uh, DraftKings a couple weeks ago. hundred of that was from Angelo, by the way, uh, 150 maybe. Um, but now I'm going to definitely be doing some decent exposure to Vulcan in uh, the GPP DraftKings entry. After DraftKings banned me, I'm on a mission now to literally take – it doesn't affect them at all. They just get commission. So I'm on a mission to win and give DraftKings more commission. Yeah, obviously I'm on the Ankalaev side, but I, I do see value in the 7,100. I mean, I, I think the odds are wide. But it, it, the odds are what they are just because of Vulcan's chin. So we'll see what happens. 